The Daily Quirk sat down for an interview with the Dominion star Tom Wisdom at Comic-Con, and we're bringing you the inside info. Has he not smiled once no. so far? <laughs> Um, no, he doesn't have much of a sense of humour. He's got a big weight on his shoulders. I mean, he's, his whole purpose before Dominion started was just to get Alex to a place where he could, you know, take up his destiny as, as the chosen it, it was all pretty simple for him, and it's become once the, trans, the tattoos were transferred to him, suddenly everything changed because he's tricky. He's not, you know. He's not doing as Michael wants, he's not playing to his tune, so he's uh, it's kind of all going a little bit pear-shaped for Michael. But he's trying to save humanity, it's not, it's not, it's not laugh a minute for him, I don't think. Yeah, well I guess a lot of it's in the script and you take what you can from that. And I had discussions with him and Scott who directed the Legion. But um, I've always had a very, well I always felt that there was a definite stillness about him and kind of unblinking uh, quality to him. And, um, Is that what like attracted you to the role? Was, like, uh, yeah, I liked how unemotive he was and how stoic he is. And, and trying to play that still? Yeah, because it's, it's, it's not that easy. Yeah. No, he's very, very different to all the humans. And, and he's, but he's very interested in humans and he would love to be able to feel like they do. And, I think that's why he's so attracted to human women, because uh, and likes to have more than one. <laughs> so, I mean, the problem with that is he's got a lot of stamina. Because he's an archangel. There's just he. I think he would love just to be able to feel and emote like they do. And I think to be able to show little glimpses of that occasionally, but trying to maintain that um, very stoic and emotive. Um, side of him is, I guess, what I've attracted me to. Yeah. It, there's a big change coming. Okay. Can you tell us anything about that? I can't tell you. Anything. Little head. <laughs> no, there's some. But in the next episode, it starts to go into Michael's past, and uh, oh, it's so hard without giving spoilers away. Um, no one you just see it. a very different side of Michael. <laughs> And that leads to Gabriel kind of cottons onto that and starts to get under Michael's skin a bit. There's going to be some pretty explosive, all CGI. There's a company in Toronto called Spin VFX, and they do it all in a really short space of time. How do you work to try and make it seem like you're actually you know have this going on when you're? Doing scenes and stuff like well, it kind of changes throughout the series. Like the beginning, there was nothing, so the wings just kind of came out, and then this kind of unfurling motion starts. <laughs> and, um, and for the actual flying, I'm just rigged up to a harness and attached to cranes. And, uh, Did you have to do a lot of training for that? No, I mean you kind of need a strong core. Yeah. Apparently, I did, you know, I worked with the stunt guys and who are amazing and they, you know, I do them all myself but they should be able to do it and it's, it's the part of I enjoy the most, yeah, I love it, I absolutely love it. And there's one point in the quarry where I'm kind of hanging like that from a crane about 50 meters in the air and it's, it's quite exhilarating. I enjoy that. I love the scenes with Chris. I love any, anything I get to do with Alex. I really enjoy that. I think it's just a really interesting dynamic between the two. And he's really good, so I love working with him. Uh, and I love the stuff in the highway when he says, um, calling shotgun. One of my, my favourites. There are other characters that would be interesting if they came in to the show. Yeah, perhaps like Raphael, the other archangel. Or, I mean, Lucifer has been. A lot of people seem to want Lucifer to come to the show. Yeah, I could see the attraction. That sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. And anyone who can kind of uh, change Michael's perspective. Really? Yeah, we all wanted to go for second season. Just, I mean, the ratings have been very good, so and they're steadily, you know, progressing all the time. So yeah, no, we'd love to. We'd be back in Cape Town, and uh, we all get on really well. So I'd love to go.